and thwarting the Legion. You've managed treacherous tasks in front of you. Consider your visit here a brief respite. Come, this will not take long. If, if, okay, if it won't take long, I'll do. I'll chat here first, then I'll disappear. Um, take a break. Welcome to Lord Turil, Sanctuary of the Druids. Though this forest has aged, its spirits still remember me. I am ready, Malfurion. Nature stands with you. Oh, foul <laughs> this is awkward. Every I'm riding Furion. <laughs> Ages ago, the first druids molded this land to be a reflection of the Emerald Dream. But this isn't the Emerald Dream a reflection of the world? But Valshara huh. is as close to the dream as this world can come. Make ready, hero. We shall soon stand in the presence of the Lord of the Forest. Eh. Yeah. Maybe I'm misremembering the war. Well, that doesn't look healthy. Now, Furion. Thank Alun, you've come. It is good to see you again. You must come quickly. Something's happened. He was in the that doesn't look good. But now he won't wake. We cannot stir him. What is this corruption? We we don't know. It only just appeared. Fuck, there's two of her. Christ. Stay and rest. The Archdruids have studied at the feet of Cenarius himself for thousands of years. This corruption, I've never seen it before. It somehow, it seems familiar. Well, and yet it seems somehow familiar. May nature what vile power is this? Nature's call? That was actually one of the lines uh, Dryads say when you click on them in Warcraft 3. We've, they still say it here when they appear in WoW, rarely. Uh, actually, uh, the Dryads would say, why does nature's call? Not just nature's call, but whatever. What vile power is this? A curse with the strength to paralyze a demigod? Unimaginable. Quickly, Pal and I. You must gather the arch roots of the forest. With her help, we can summon you Sarah. She will surely know what horror has overtaken my mentor. I will remain here and lead Cenarius what aid I can. Return to Orteril and speak with Aranella. She will know the arch roots whereabouts. And please, friend, make haste. Ooh, and I can um, get these berries. That will restore either mana or health. And they give strength. Which is nice. Death brings new life. And that's the only one for flavor text. Alright, I'll be going for them because there's no need for me to get an extra mana. Nature stands with you. How may I Cenarius, my mentor. What foul power could hold sway over him? But yeah, I swore the um, Emerald Dream was like a mirrored, you know, at this world, but with more nature going on. So, yes, I'm misremembering. Or maybe this is a retcon. I don't know. Rune Spellbook. Time and elements have erased any secrets once held by this tome. Uh, enhanced Sours. May greatly improve the performance in challenging dungeons. Uh huh. We'll just chat with the, the dryad here. And, um. I'll take the break then. Scenarius is in need. We'll order the forest. We shall not fail you. But we may take our sweet ass time to helping you. Okay. I'm going to be back in a moment, folks. BRB. Hey, there, folks, and I'm back. Let's get back into it. Please, Paladin, do not tarry. I cannot imagine a world without Cenarius. <laughs> what, well, did no one tell her Cenarius died for quite a few years there? It was like over a decade he was been dead. He was dead from Warcraft 3, um, a bit into, a fair bit into Warcraft 3 during the Orc campaign. Into... Um... Uh, what's it called? From Warcraft 3 or campaign to Cataclysm. In Cataclysm, he was resurrected. So we've had a world without scenarios for quite a while. Deep within the, our forest lies Mooncaw Vale. There you'll find a reclusive group of feral druids charged with the protection of Valshar from any that would seek to disrupt the balance of nature. 
These druids are led by Taon Moonkor, the most fierce of the arch druids. Seek him out. Let him know that Cenarius is in need of his aid. Something terrible is a foot traveler. I can feel it. No shit! Near the edge of our forest, you'll find sleepers bar borrow. They are arch druid Coda Steelcore and her dedicated disciples carry their sacred duty to observe the Emerald Dream. Find disciple Rysella Bear Song in Steelcore Valley. Note of fire of the crisis in the Grove Cenarius. Lothir resides in an ancient grove, uh, Tastala, uh, where he communes with nature and instructs his acolytes in the ways of healing and preservation of war and the preservation of war. Seek him out and tell him that he's desperately needed here. What is nature's call? Doesn't say anything else. All right. Can also get this village in peril quest. Let's do it. Fairy fracas. Uh huh. Alright. I didn't mind. Remember that one where we're doing with all the ogres? And the. Or the giants or ogres or whatever they're called. And killing one got you 60%. If only they were all like that. That was awesome. Cow tourist dress sabatons? You know, they really all match well with my. with this skull motif. Sadly. I don't need them. Okay, there we go. Let's mosey on. There's also a flight point up here, Garden of the Moon. You know, there's actually plenty of flight points around here. Kind of like it. Also, that there makes me think of, like, pe t uh, you know, this kind of thing. You know, these twilight portals and all that, just like a mountain range surrounding a thing and all that. It's certainly a jump. There's plenty of things in the game that aren't that, but, you know, on the map look like it, I'm sure. It, that's just what it makes me think of. That's all. It's just because of all this nature stuff going on. Also, why is this place purple and red? And how did they not... How did they not notice this? How in the nine hells did they not see this? Rip the flesh from their bones and drain the life from their mortal bodies. Well, hide. How do you do to you too? Unintended lightning rod. Some tufts of hair are melted to the sides. Temple guard. They clearly don't give two shits about this temple. You know, do you think they would have something here? Also, creep, creeping nightmare. The nightmare approaches. Gain a few stacks of that. Ancient Annihilator? Christ. Well, we're fighting corrupted satyr, uh, corrupted elves now. Satyr are corrupted elves. So, yeah. Oh, and here's that Gravax of the Desecrator. And why aren't they using the blisters? They could be doing a nice twank of damage here. Also, uh, also, tremble before the might of the Burning Legion. As he saunters away. Uh... Also, why aren't these burrowed? You think they would be? Uh, like ancient protectors are meant to be burrowed. Um, it's how they protect the place. They can fling stuff at them when they're burrowed. Um, Warcraft three, damn it! Um, yeah, Darcy uh, Heatro. The corpse of Darcy, Darcy Heatro lies before you, pierced by several arrow and knife wounds. In one hand, she clutches a note written with a feeble hand that reads, The Dead March on Bradensbrook. Help us, please. How, does, how do we know her name? The, uh, then again, writing floating above her head. Also, I love how we just like march through that garden of the temple, get no quest to help, nor do we even give herself a quest to help. We presume we get one later on, it's just, you know, we could help them out. Phantom Officer. Ah, some Ghanaians. Cool. Black Rock Falcon. What manner of beast is this? These birds are coming from Black Rock Hold, fourth one I've shot today. Tio the Huntsman. Let's have a chat with you. Our people have been going missing. The, fire the dead have been seen walking, and the fires are lit in the old fortress. 
there's evil afoot. No doubt about it. If you're here to help, d then see our mare down the road in Braddon's Brook. Careful, though. I think the pressure might be getting to him. You wouldn't want to see me when I'm angry. Oh, I don't know why there's actually even villagers here. Like, this place is, you know, being fended off by the Burning Legion. Why are they trying to colonize it? I don't know, it just it seems like a poor move. Like, wait until the Burning Legion's pissed off for the to colonize it. Just seems like a poor move otherwise. Like bound to get yourself killed. Eight seven and a half hours. Christ. Alright, alright. Old bear trap. Let's take a look at it. Yeah, let's get caught in it. Bad Henrik. Well, looky here. We got ourselves something to new to hunt. For a moment, I thought it was just like an old bear trap that had been there for ages. And once I got it, once I used it, a bear was going to attack me. Or something. What? Do I just wait for it to explode? Yes. Well, he puts the mad in it, in his name. Well, he puts mad and mad Henry. So, yeah. How long have these Gonanes been here? No. Have to wait till he's targetable again. How long have they been here? Just makes me wonder, because the old bear trap, is he just using old equipment, or is it meant to be like, it's been here, you know, been here waiting for a while. Then again, if they're Gunaeans, they're probably, you know, probably new here. Probably just jumping at things, you know, just like, you know, like, take a moment, it's probably not like, the Gunaeans haven't been here since this shattering kind of thing, you know. Relax. Okay, let's see what that toy is like. Only worn doll. Okay, nothing else. Thought it's her. Okay, this is creepy. I regret, it. I regret everything now. And I told, also thought I heard some just like creepy sound effects. But maybe it's just the area effects for you. I love to go in the anesthetic. I am not your enemy, Mayor. Jared Shadow Song. I'm here to find someone within Blackrock Hall. Stop with your lies, Night Elf. You'll stay where we can keep an eye on you. Uh, he is. Well, he was a big reason. F uh, he was a good commander during the. Uh, remember when they're trying to stop as um, Ashara from opening the portal uh, in the Well of Eternity for Sergeris and all that. He got the defense against it. He was a big name then, and I think he's actually the brother of Maeve. You know the warden. Hail, soldier. I must have. I must make them. Uh, uh, I must make them heed my words. Not my sword. Novices will often resort to sword. Uh, novices will often resort to force, but persuasion is a master's weapon. Yeah, it probably would have a better result than you just slaughtering them. I actually noticed these are all marked as n neutral, even though I'm fr friendly with Gonaeus. So, yeah. actually, that guy's marked as friendly, but beyond him. Watch yourself. Make one wrong move and we'll throw you in chains. What's happening here? My people have been suffering. Too, uh, my people have seen too much suffering. It was the Scourge Uprising that led us to flee Gunaeus many years ago. The Scourge? Huh. These people have been here a long time then. The Scourge Uprising was Warcraft 3. 
these people, I figured these were part of Gunea the Gunaeans fleeing from, uh, you know, they they came here when the broken up with they came here with, with, like with the rest of the lines, you know, the ones fending off the demons. These came here to colonize here then. No, they've been here for a, a, like you know over a decade. So, okay, that explains a lot. See, I didn't need to be jumping at shadows. Um, but I didn't think they would have anyone would have fled Gunaeus. Because Gunaeus just sh fixed up a wall and just fucked off. It was the Scourge Uprising that led us uh, to flee Gunaeus many years ago. No undead creatures have risen from the fortress to the north. I'll defend this village to the bitter end. Watch your back. Let me just out tab out for a moment. Also, the Nundi should actually be working as well, or very little of them. Actually, wait, I don't think the Worgen Curse broke out until a, a fair bit after... It, well, the Worgen Curse, I don't think, broke out on Gulnaeus until a fair bit after the Scourge Uprising. There was certainly Worgen in, like, Classic WoW, but I'm not sure if these Gulnaeans would have been affected by it. Excuse me. Recording locally. Recording locally. I am actually recording, that's fantastic. The mic is actually working, that's my main concern. I was worried that the uh, mic had been jo jostled out. Uh, no, no, everything's fine. It's a USB thing, so I'm paranoid. Uh, yeah, the mic is fine, the mic is fine, it's not muted, it's going up. The other thing is fine, the mic is in the right position. Uh, and down there's fine. Okay, let's continue. I think I might stop recording in a bit and go record some. Um, Deus Ex. I am just... I still find it hilarious. Um, Deus Ex is scheduled for to start on the first day of 2018. 2018. Just to give you... Just to like, give you something to see. To go look at. Okay, it's too far ahead. I can't actually go that far. But yeah, the first day of 2018. It's Monday. Two on Monday, two on Friday. I'll be moving XCOM to a Thursday and giving you two of it then. And I do believe uh, when I move on to more time, which will be after XCOM and me within, I'll be releasing two on Tuesday and two on Thursday. 20 minutes each. So, yeah. So, uh, that won't be for a while though. I have to go and break up my computer. Um, my old Mac and do some editing for XCOM Enemy Within and other series. But once I get that uh, all the stuff edited off the Mac, then I can fin quickly finish them off over here. And oh my god, forget everything else. Daggy. Oh my god, it's just so precious. My drain is just laughing there. He's enjoying petting the daggy. Oh, it's so adorable. Oh, it's precious. No one better harm it. I will kill the fuck out of him. Oh, these are references to people, um... Fans of... Well, uh, fans of WoW, I guess, or someone. Jontron, I think? And Ego Raptor. I don't know who he is, and I'm not even sure if I'm getting the right people. Uh, I just vaguely remember seeing a picture posted by one of them and saying, "Oh, God, there's references to Z in it," and I vaguely I think it's these. And I vaguely remember seeing that name before in reference to Ego Raptor, so I figure it's him. Could be wrong. Certainly could be. Also, that's so not healthy. I'll have a chat with them in a moment. Maxwell Cap Capria. He reeks of animal fur and dung. What you looking at, Paladin? Why not? Why, why don't you go bother Crawford or Heathrow? Wait. He, there's Hudson Crawford. Okay, so these people never had to deal with the Worgen thing. Huh. Alright then. Uh, Vulture Peril. 
We don't need any help, and we don't like strangers wandering around on our land. Tread lightly. Honor. 